Okay gamers, Honkai Star Rail just posted a new character, the, the second character coming in 1.4. I know yesterday we talked about Jingle Lui being confirmed for 1.4, but now we have Topaz confirmed for 1.4 guys. She looks cracked and oh my god, look at little Noombi. He looks so cute, doesn't he? I love little Noombi, he's a little chotter. Um, I said I was gonna skip 1.4. And looking at this character now, I don't know that I can skip 1.4 with the cuteness of Numbi. It says Topaz and Numbi, so I'm assuming he is going to be playing a role into her kit in some way, shape, or form. The description that they posted on the Twitter post for this is money is a means, not an end. Work should make you happy. Well, too bad work doesn't make me happy, but you know what does? Spending money on my mommy, Topaz. Honestly, guys, I think this is probably... Uh, I don't know if Topaz per se is my favorite character, but Noombi is my favorite character. But anyways, let's just kind of talk about what this means since we now have both a uh, Jingle Wee confirmed and also Topaz and Noombi confirmed. So we already know Jingle Wee is an ice destruction character. Topaz is going to be a hunt fire character, which is really big because we haven't got a five star fire character in the game other than a big booba mommy Himeko, right? And we know how Himeko is, right? She's okay, but we're getting another hunt character added to the game, that being of the fire class, which I think is going to be really big for the fire class. Because as far as the characters we have in the game right now for hunt, it's gonna be Zila, Danny Don Hung, Shu Shang, and also Yang Ching as well. So getting another hunt character in the game is really, really nice. We already kind of know like the damage output of the other five star hunt characters in the game, that being Yang Ching and Zila. Zila absolutely being cracked and also Yang Ching as well. Yang Ching's pretty cracked if you can build him correctly. Now, I don't know why I got the impression, I guess because she's on the light cone for the preservation category, that I thought that she was going to be a preservation or a tank character, which I, I guess that's kind of dumb thinking about it now since we're getting uh, Fu Xuan and 1.3. But anyways, that's besides the points. We're getting Noombi and Topaz. That's the only thing that matters to me right now. I haven't seen any gameplay for her. I have no clue what she does because I haven't looked at any leaks for her. Uh, so I don't know if her, you know, kit, quote unquote, is even that good. Uh, but like I said, just comparing it to the other hunt characters in the game looks pretty good overall, right? Uh, and also Noombi as well, looking really cool. Now I hope, uh, when it says Topaz and Noombi, I hope that he doesn't act as a separate entity or it works better than Jinguan, right? Because Jinguan has his Lightning Lord as a separate entity and that does cause some issues for his kit, right? Because if you don't get enough stacks on the Lightning Lord, you're not doing any damage. And I really don't want to see it to where all of her damage relies on Noombi doing the damage and, and she doesn't do much damage on her own, right? Because I do think it'll be the same as the Jinguan situation where, you know, if she's not getting the stacks up, if she has a super high investment cost because she relies so much on another entity doing the damage then it makes her kind of mad uh, to me anyways but i don't know if that's the case right i i hope it's not but it definitely could be uh especially with it saying topaz and noombi in the kit maybe they work side by side together when they're actually using their attacks and stuff like that i don't know maybe it's something like how everyone thought lynette and lionel would work with there being two five stars in like one character and they kind of like together is like they string attacks up together maybe it works something like that or maybe Noombi's a follow-up attack character I really don't know but I do think this is really interesting uh, especially since we're getting a new ice character added to the game because we don't have many of those and in the second patch we're getting another fire character added to the game and we definitely don't have many good ones of those anyways but you know really thinking about it now we do have hook Hook's a pretty solid fire DPS, honestly. If you build her up, I think she's a pretty solid fire DPS. We have Asta as well, which is in the fire category. I mean, I guess it's nice seeing a fire hunt character. Maybe I was hoping it would be like a, a different category, maybe. Maybe like a harmony character or something like that, because... Have, we haven't gotten a five-star harmony character in the game yet and so i was kind of hoping for maybe a five-star harmony character but so as far as like all the five stars like typings that we've gotten in the game as far as like featured five-star characters we've gotten two destructions now we have gotten a hunt an erudition uh and hility abundance and also uh yeah two inhilities two inhilities so that's the redestruction character we've gotten already and we've already gotten a hunt character so I, why I, you know i kind of wanted a harmony character i was kind of hoping for a harmony character this update because i think it would kind of round everything out as far as the classes go right one more thing i do want to talk about as far as this goes right is we're getting both an ice character and a fire character right 
But what is Ice and Fire even good against, right? What what enemies, in, or I guess how many enemies are these typings good against? And I did the math on this. So as far as like higher level enemies, the Fire Weakness affects the second highest amount of enemies in the game. Do you know what affects the first highest amount of enemies in the game? Ice, which is going to be what Jing Liu is going to do. So, you know, maybe saving for this patch is not maybe that bad of an option, right? Because if you're getting two different characters, right? One being Ice, one being Fire, that are covering like the most plentiful elemental weakness of the game right as of right now anyways which are literally the top two elements as far as like what enemies are weak against so i mean this could be very beneficial for free to play players like i was talking about in my last video with destruction just being really easy to implement to teams i don't think that topaz is going to be that easy to implement to teams just because she is a hunt character i could be wrong on that but i do think that she is going to have a lot more requirements than someone say like jing liu needs right but i think with the fire typing here and also the ice typing of jing liu that this could cover a lot more elemental weaknesses and i could think it could help probably a lot more free to play players out because it does cover more elemental bases than something like say down hung does or fushuan does right fushuan's a tank so she's not really going to be doing damage anyways it's covering more of that elemental base so you can bring them into more situations and use them more on teams because more enemies are weak to this fire and ice weakness so for that fact alone i think it would be maybe kind of smart to save for these characters just because of how many elements they can actually cover also something else i kind of want to theory craft on is i don't know that topaz is from the zianja lafu so does this mean that our story is finishing up in the next patch or that our story quest is going to be finishing up in 1.4 or 1.3 to introduce a new world to us in 1.4 or something like that? I don't know because I don't think that she's in the Jianzhou Lafu, but I really don't know. I haven't looked into her lore too much. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this comment below because if we're getting a new story or a new planet this, this soon, that'd be really great as far as content goes anyways because it does get kind of dry when there's like two patches without any story modes added to the game. So it'd be nice to see this. Anyways, gamers, that's going to do it for today's video talking about topaz and our little boy noombi if i see any noombi slander in the comment section below i'll be on your ass like white on rice boy you don't mess with our boy noombi he is our a1 number one mascot now better than pom pom i think so better than march 7th definitely better than paimon 100 percent anyways all means aside like i said i'm really excited for topaz mainly noombi though i'll be summoning on her just for the fact that i'll have noombi on my account if you haven't already guys and you made it to this point in the video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because i do have more content coming up for honkai in the future and also later today i'll be having a video coming out comparing jing yuan to asha kafka to see how mid yuan it really is see the general in his finest right not my general my general won't be called mid no 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 um i'll go ahead and give you a little spoiler though the testing for that Jin yuan didn't do that bad uh he did pretty good amount of damage so yeah stick around if you want to see that anyways i'll see you later i'll stop uh trolling and spanning the video out now bye stalling bye